Two years. That's how long you've been with us throughout this journey. And like you, this is a moment that I always wanted to share with you. I love seeing new voices throughout the community and patiently waiting to release a film. But most of all, I love seeing everyone gathering together as a community to enjoy these machinimas. YouTube is a place where we can share our creativity and give us a chance to tell you multiple stories. Thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for the support that you give us. And for that, we have a couple of surprises in store for you. So welcome to Apex Con. With this film that we are about to reveal, we wanted to change the way that we normally make our films. This film is a film that you have never seen in the community. And we wanted to show you the challenge we went through filming this film. But unfortunately, we do not have any clips. But we do have the name for the film, Born in the Sky. This film will be written by Richard Gomez, the writer of Sam, and he will provide you with this immersing storytelling and will be one of the best challenging films that we have ever made yet, which will set to release sometime this year. For the fans who love horror, you are in for a treat. Many of you guys have been wondering on why you haven't seen or heard any news about The Butcher. But don't worry, the film isn't canceled. However, we finally do have some butcher news. This film is written and directed by Damien Cologne, myself. The Butcher is a film that will have multiple perspectives of the police officers who try to hunt down this suspicious person who has been accused of having something to do with the missing victims in their local town. The majority of this film will be shot when they head to a location. They find the answers they have been looking for. Now the script is original, but it does have its inspiration from the 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre film and including the 2003 reboot. I wanted to bring some horror to the fans who like to enjoy the horror atmosphere, so there you go. This next film is heavily based on a video game, and many of you have most likely heard of it. We wanted to bring you this film because we felt like the Resident Evil fans have been treated poorly with the recent films. And this time, we wanted to be the first to bring you a Resident Evil film, which will be titled Resident Evil Outbreak. This film takes place in Raccoon City, the year 1998, where a deadly virus breaks out to the public causing people to turn into the living dead. A rookie cop, Leon Kennedy, takes his patrol car to work on his first day and runs into a mysterious woman, Claire Redfield, looking for her brother who is also a cop. Then they both fight together to survive and find answers about what caused this outbreak. Eventually, when they get answers, it's an answer that will shock them to their core. Now, if you are a fan of the Resident Evil games, this is the best time to be a fan of the series. I promise you, you will love this film. This will be the best film adaptation of the Resident Evil games, even including those created in Hollywood, as it truly sticks to the RE atmosphere and it is inspired from the games. For those of you who have been waiting, Season one was a success. And for the love you have shown us 
to the series and those who have been asking for more, we have decided to bring you a season two of Batman the series. Season two will have new characters, which they will be taking things to the next level. And this season, with the storytelling, the dark tone of this season, dark and realistic takes on characters, the caped crusader himself will have a huge awakening and adaptations from the comics and huge inspiration from the long Halloween to other comics. Instead of three episodes like we did before, we have decided to provide you with five episodes with the same schedule as season one. We also wanted to provide you with footage of season two. So enjoy. Day one is coming to an end. We have one final announcement. While Richard was writing the first film, we decided to discuss a sequel. And he decided that the story wasn't close to being finished as we wanted to include more backstory on Sam. But not only just him, others as well. Sam is getting a sequel to get its closure. And Richard is teaming up with the creator behind 1S 1K Studios named Sid Epics. And I can assure you that this will live up to the hype of the first film. The sequel introduces new characters and familiar faces. This film will mainly follow the events after Sam's death and will focus on the police's point of view, as well as those who were close to Sam. As promised here is a teaser of the sequel, and we hope you enjoyed. I want all units to go to this house. Proceed with caution. This is an ex-military member. Get ready, boys. Today's the day we're getting this bastard. Unfortunately, we have reached the ending of day one for Apex Con. I hope you enjoyed the first half of the announcements, and I thank you for patiently waiting. I can't wait for you to see the final product of these projects. There is a day two of Apex Con which will come very, very soon. We hope you all enjoyed this event. I would like to thank you for watching this event, and Richard for planning this event. It is indeed my pleasure to show you these films. Once again, thank you for watching and supporting us. If you enjoy our projects and content that we put out, subscribe to the channel and make sure to click the bell to know every time we release a film or project. Other than that, I'll see you again very soon. Stay tuned for the second day of Apex Con. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>